My name is Aurora and this is my quick five questions for Spindle magazine. Dead or alive, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? I think I would collaborate with Edith Piaf because I really love her. Um, and alive, I think I would like to collaborate with Childish Gambino. <laughs> oh, what do you miss the most about your hometown Bergen when you're not there? I miss the lack of sun because I hate the sun. I love that he gives us like life <laughs> and all that stuff but I don't like the heat so I miss the cold and I miss the silence a lot. It's a very quiet place Bergen. What have been the three highlights of your career so far? Um, I think meeting meeting the the actual people that actually listens to my music and finds something very meaningful in it that's a very big highlight in my career and <sighs> writing my first album and writing my second album that's the my babies. Describe your own music in three words. Emotional, native, if that makes sense. N not like in the language, but in the emotional, native, and dark, can be quite dark. What influences your music? Um, I'm very influenced by nature and the way she is so powerful and dangerous and pure at the same time. Um, and I'm very like, especially now, I'm very inspired by her, her battle against everything that kind of pollutes her or uses her for the wrong reasons. Um, so I'm very inspired by kind of the battle on behalf of nature and everything, actually everything. I'm very inspired by life, animals and children. I'm very inspired by, I love old people as well. They're oh, amazing. I love old people, even the, like the, the lonely, bitter old people. I love them too. I love old people. What is your greatest memory of growing up? That's a nice question. Hmm. My greatest memory of growing up must be the the different or there are many, many, many great things, you know, like going on adventures in the forest and and kind of learning about yourself and the world around you. I really enjoyed or I think my favorite thing, looking back at my childhood, was my the different perspective I had on time. Because I didn't, I still don't think m much about either the past or the future. But when I was tinier, I didn't, you know, he didn't think about even the next hour, and he didn't know that. You know, before you knew that you your parents are going to die one day, before you know that you're going to die one day, and everything else. It's very sad, but it is kind of a nice thing when you're a child that you don't think about time, because you haven't experienced much time. So, 50 years seems like a lot, and that I really enjoy, with also being around children. It's very cool, very cool.